Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. The Muslim rights concern has attacked the United States, the Christian Association of Nigeria, can, and mocked the U.S. President Donald Trump. Murik is angered by the United States' recent blacklisting of Nigeria for allegedly violating religious rights. Following the announcement, by the U.S. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, the Christian Association of Nigeria had backed the decision and lamented religious persecution in the country. However, the federal government has denied the allegations of religious intolerance and maintained that Nigeria is a safe land for all religions. And in a statement issued to Daily Post on Monday, signed by its director, Professor Ishak Akitola, Murik described President Trump as a drowning man, who the last election has shown does not represent America. Murik said that Trump is a man too eager to swallow any lie against any Muslim leader because of his gymnastic pursuit of a Christian crusade. The group argued that contrary to the claim that Christians are being persecuted in the country, it is actually the Muslims who are at the receiving end of religious discrimination. We are nonplussed by the recent allegation of violation of religious rights made by the United States against Nigeria. This is a case of the pot calling the kettle black. By the way, what is the U.S. record of respecting the religious rights of Muslims around the world? He questioned. All pieces of evidence point at the U.S. heading to Western Christian crusade against Muslim leaders and Muslim countries around the globe. Why are Muslim nations always on the list of U.S. sanctions? Is it not for the purpose of retarding their progress while Western countries continue to rise? The group further accused the Christian Association of Nigeria of deliberately lying about the situation in the country. As for Khan's lie that 95% of heads of security agencies in Nigeria are Muslims, we are not surprised because the seed is not only in the character of Khan, it is in its DNA. The Christian Association of Nigeria deliberately ignored the federal cabinet where Christians have 20 while Muslims are only 18. And this is a government under a Muslim president. Khan is mischievous. Khan is insatiable. Khan will continue to deceive the world that Christians are marginalized until all positions are filled with Christians only and until Muslims are forced to eat from crusts under the table. 
Our neighbor's middle name has long been known as deception. Kant's claim of religious discrimination is false and baseless and unfounded. To cap the edifice, the Christian Association of Nigeria ensures that its agents in the government ministries and agencies deprive Muslims of enjoying public facilities and civic rights like national identity cards and international passports once they insist on maintaining their Islamic identity. It is our contention that President Trump is speaking on President Buhari because the latter is a Muslim. It is religious stigmatization. President Donald Trump is too eager to swallow Kant's lies, hook, hook line, and sinker. Fortunately, the world now realizes who we are dealing with. It is becoming clearer day by day, particularly in the wake of the US election, that Trump is a man already drowned in the sea of fantasies. A bully, a fake Democrat, and a totalitarian dictator has taken America for a ride. The only relief today is that we know Trump does not represent America. At least, true Democrats have proved that they can maintain the American standard, it said. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? And um, all that uh, the Islamic group, the Nigerian Islamic group has said concerning the United States of America on the blacklisting of Nigeria on religious freedom. Well, it is sad and unfortunate that the blacklist of Nigeria came at this particular point in time. But we cannot but understand the reason why Nigeria was blacklisted. The insecurity in the country today has not even helped matters. The actions, inactions, the ways of the president has also not helped matters. The lack of cooperation, the lack of um, leadership skills of Mr. President has not helped the situation of things. So the killings in the north has also not helped the situation. The BHK's attack at will and they get away with it. The BHK's, you know, they 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 go, they take actions whichever way they deem fit or they feel without Anybody without the Nigerian government or Nigerian security agencies or forces, you know, stopping them or retaliating. The way and manner at which the BH sect killed Christians, beheld them, has also not helped matters. And the government has not responded well enough or has not even responded as it were to forestall such occurrences. And international organizations, international media, the international community are watching. They are seeing how things are unfolding. And you do not expect them to keep quiet. If the Nigerian government is failing to take necessary action or speak against these ills, then you expect that the international community would not keep silent and they will have to continue working. They will have to continue speaking up and fighting for the defenseless. So the Nigerian Islamic community needs to check their facts again. They need to check their facts and uh, correct themselves. We understand how it feels, but they should put or channel their grievances to the table of Mr. President so that he can be up and doing, he can sit up and be up and doing and address all the issues and challenges that Nigerians are facing as it is or at the moment. 
Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts? Please drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story, as it were. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.